I don't really like doing all this, but... Ladies, probably not gonna like that. Even though we're pretty much safe. Oh, well. It's all right. It's over. Leave me be! Get away! See his face! God save us! Be gone. And don't ever come back. So much for not getting involved. Come on, let's go. Miss Swell. That brawl? We didn't start it. <gasps> Ooh. Them legs, though. Okay, I think, yeah, excuses my DLCs are on. Excuses. You've not changed a bit. Uh, well, I think that's a mod. Y Yen? How? Or DLC. I, I received mean, a report about a witcher who'd appeared in White Orchard. I knew it was you, looking for me. I might have waited until you found me, but... Well, you know me. Patience has never been my strong suit. It's... Good to see you, Geralt. I... I'd even embrace you. Were you not covered in blood? <laughs> Sorry. Wasn't expecting to see you. To be honest, this isn't at all how I imagined we'd meet. How did you imagine it? He didn't imagine you'd have a Nilfgaardian escort. Don't get me wrong, Yennefer. I'm glad to see you. But I do think you owe us an explanation. And I shall provide it. In Vizima. Ready your horses. Spent the last six months in the saddle. Haven't seen you for two years. Can we take a moment to... Sadly, we cannot. Someone awaits you, Geralt. Someone who doesn't like to be kept waiting. Emperor Emir Var Emrys. Or, to those on more intimate terms with him, the white flame dancing on the graves of his foes. Doubt I number among that group. For as I remember, last time we saw each other, he wanted to kill me. Well... Now he wishes to make you an offer. The kind one can't refuse? I didn't. Though I could have. Must have been a damn good offer then. Not many things you'd give up your freedom for. And even fewer people. The sooner we set off, the sooner you'll find out. What about you? I'm going in the opposite direction. I somehow doubt the Emperor's invitation mentioned me. Besides, I've got things to do at Kaer Morhen, remember? Yeah, I remember. <laughs> Thanks for your help, Vesemir. See you soon. How's your horse? Swift? Can't complain. Why do you ask? I'd like to be back behind some thick city walls as soon as possible. Hmm. All right. So we're traveling away with Jennifer. We found her. We found her. Damn those snakes, though. You know, I had a dream about you recently. Now what you know is probably filthy. <laughs> Just the beginning, but then. But then. Uh, Do I have to control it? No, I hope not. I hope not. I, hope not. I sure as fucking hell hope not.
come on. Ride swiftly. Come on. I might want to increase their voice, but I have no idea. Tale begins near White Orchard, with my dear friend Geralt of Rivia seeking his lover of yore, the sorceress Yennefer. She'd eluded him for years, but now seems just a few steps ahead. After many trials and tribulations, Geralt finally learned that Yen was in nearby Vizima. She seems way too happy to clean him. He has no armpit. He has no dick either. What the hell? <laughs> way too happy about cleaning him. Hmm. It must suffice. Think him here cares if I'm clean. The gentleman will refer to his Imperial Majesty by his full title or not at all. The gentleman will be seated on the berger. The what now? In that uh, chair. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have to be Tell noble, him, you know. Please shave the gentleman's sideburns to half an inch. I like my beard, though. What's wrong with my beard? Always thought it added to my dignity. It does. Yet it also detracts from your elegance. In Nilfgaard, we consider beards hard on the eyes. Especially beards infested with lice. Been on the road a while. Fine. Do your thing. Tilt your head back, please. And sit still. And prepare to answer some questions. General, I, I am not certain this is the appropriate time. I can't think of a better time. Men turn honest when they feel a blade at their throat. Movran Vuris, commander of the Alba Division. Before they take you in to see the Emperor, Witcher, there's some information I need you to verify. It's a formality. But one that must be seen to. Sure. Paperwork's gotta be in order. So, what the fuck is Geralt that? of Rivia. Place of birth, unknown. Parents, unknown. Age, unknown. All insignificant details. Let us proceed to more recent events. The siege of La Valette Castle. The fate of the defending commander, one Arian. Foltest ordered me to clear the path. The boy stood in my way. Cutting down the Lavalette air. This made no impression on you? Uh, I suppose it wouldn't. What's some baron to an assassin of kings? Moving on. You then found shelter in charming Flotsam, and from there made your way to Vergen. My question is how? Uh. Vernon. I got out of Flotsam with Vernon Roach, commander of the Blue Stripes and... A murderer of non-humans. We know this gentleman well, Witcher. You forge interesting alliances. Something tells me my most interesting is yet to come. <laughs> Go on, next question. Before my beard grows back in. <laughs> we shall shave you again if it does. Very well. The infamous summit at Loch Muin. You were there. 
and once again meddled in the affairs of the mighty. The mighty had imprisoned Triss Marigold. Ought to know I care about her, and I tend to rescue those I care about. And so you did, handing Radovid control of the Conclave and Council of Mages in the process. Nilfgaard recently started a war, unprovoked. So do us both a favor and stop moralizing. The gentleman must sit still. I'm almost done. I'm afraid I might find that difficult. Because, from what I know, shortly afterwards you watched a defective megascope blow your friend Sheila de Tanserville to bits. <sighs> I watched her get in the Megascope, but ultimately freed her from the trap your man Letho of Gullet had set. Write that down. I want to be sure the paperwork's in order now. <laughs> well, national interest calls on one to forge difficult alliances at times. Alliances with witches included. That an ongoing alliance? What's Letho up to? I had hoped you would answer that question. Ah, so Letho's hiding from you. Must have a good reason. Was there a shift in national interest that might have caused that? I don't know where he is. Wouldn't tell you if I did anyway. Blade or no blade to my throat. I believe that is all. Your signature, please, affirming you stated the whole truth and nothing but the truth on pain of imprisonment or death, etc. Et this have never sure, happened to me um, before. Yeah. With these formalities seen to, I would ask the general to leave the room. We shall be choosing the gentleman's attire. An important matter, but one that does not require the general's assistance. Shame. I might have given you some advice. So long, Geralt. Good luck with your audience. All righty. Oh, I don't like Fen. Why am I wearing the... Oh, right. Feels more like I'm being readied for a wedding. <laughs> Were that so, I would have prepared the gentleman a frock, a tailcoat, or possibly a dinner jacket. In point of fact, the gentleman will choose from these garments. Black, black, or black. <laughs> we do not like garish colors in Nilfgaard. The gentleman will tell me once he has chosen an outfit. Alright, so I have to pick an outfit. I think I picked this one last time I played. No, it was that one. I picked that one. Let's see. Is this ugly? I'm just gonna see a little. Okay. It looks ugly as shite, but we'll take it. Hmm. A touch tight in the waist, but it will do. Does the outfit satisfy the gentleman? No. A studded doublet and a sword on my back, that's what would satisfy me. But tough, when in Nilfgaard. Yes. It's a saying. So what now? Powder my nose? <laughs> no need. The gentleman's complexion is light enough. The gentleman yeah. is to He's stand before pale. the ruler of the North and South. I must confirm that he knows how to... I'm not some boar. I know how to bow. Please, Tim. That, sir, is how you might bow to a whore on a street corner. Please watch. Leg extend. The gentleman will re Wrong, wrong, wrong. <laughs> Once more. Leg extended, hand flat, head down, chin to chest. What? The gentleman will rehearse. Left leg forward, right hand on chest. I didn't really look the first time. 
Hmm, lacking fluidity and grace. But we've learned to expect less of Nordlings. Um, Come with me. You fucking call him a Nordling. I'm Nordic too, bastard. The gentleman will address the Emperor only when asked to, and using the appropriate title. Your Arch Magnificency. I see the gentleman. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna increase the uh, volume. And then just keep this down to that. He's in the mood for jests. I fear the Emperor might not share his disposition. Your Majesty will suffice. Spoken loudly, clearly, and with respect. <laughs> respect. <laughs> Why do you look so scared? Im grimi et art kerzer. Daifen aden in karn eb marvut. Emir var emreis. Bow. I'm not gonna bow. Your Imperial Majesty. Arer ep do orde. Avelian namin vat gern favort. This is an actual language. I'd like to know. If it's actually like some So many months at Faltest Court. Yet you still haven't mastered the basics of etiquette. You know what they say? Can't teach an old wolf new tricks. <laughs> Take it you didn't summon me to reminisce about the good old days, so... Silence. My daughter Cyrilla, she's returned. And she's in danger. The wild hunt pursues her. You will find her and bring her to me. How many men in your army? 20,000? 30? So why me? You know why. Because she trusts you. She trusts me, yes. So tell me why you're looking for her. Doubt it's about making up for all those lost years. For reasons of state, as always. Enough of this banter. You will agree regardless. If for no other reason than because I shall pay you. More than you customarily receive for a contract. Considerably more. <sighs> I need information, not motivation. Siri leaves few tracks. She'll be hard to find. My corps of spies will help you. Count on them and my army, should the need arise. Yennefer will tell you the rest. This audience is finished. Meririd! Take him to the sorceress. Huh. Did the gentleman not understand? Did I not <laughs> emphasize adequately that one must bow to the emperor? Fuck. Relax, nothing happened. To the gentleman? But I shall be punished. How? Please keep close and follow no one. There's no breaches of etiquette for one day. Oh, so he's gonna be punished. <laughs> That's for being a dickhead. Once the gentleman is done, he should be able to retrieve his Yes, be so kind and true authority in Novigrad is not a city. Can I put on my regular clothing now? Nope, I can't do the that. Church of the Eternal Fire <sighs> and the Criminal Underworld. I am a criminal, you know. Well, maybe not. Geralt, Ooh, that tunic, you look positively smashing. 
Uh, dying to take it off. Yeah. I'd consider that a proposition under different circumstances. One I might even take you up on. But we've matters to attend Ooh. to. <laughs> really? Now oh do you God. understand why I'm at Amir's court? Mm -hmm. And seems we're in the same boat now. Siri, she's really back? No chance he's mistaken? Look, that's more or less what she looks like now. Or so our agents claim. <laughs> our little witch has grown into a young lady. Alright guys, I had to stop you here. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe, like and comment. i see you in the next one.